Hi, this is Justin. I'm going to show you a quick demo of using Tmux, Tmuxinator, and iTerm2. I'm going to start Tmuxinator by running the command mux and then the project name, which for me is BPOS. This starts up my Tmuxinator session, which starts up Tmux. So everything's running right now. I can switch over. Here I've started up guard with specs. I started up my rail server. And over on this tab, I've got a number of different worker processes running. So I can even start here running all of my specs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach now, and now I'm going to start up. I'm going to switch this over to using T iTerm2 to have those T, um, Tmuxinator windows, and to have, to have iTerm2 show Tmuxinator. So the way I do that is I go Tmux, and I do dash CC attach. That's going to hide this window, and it's going to bring up a new window, and here's the new window. Notice here that I'm running my specs here, and what I can do is I can scroll around and I can use all my commands just like using iTerm2, which is great. It's a lot easier being able to do things using your iTerm2 commands than using the Tmux commands. How do I quit out of this? Say I want to restart everything or just leave? That's really easy. I type Tmux and then I'll run this kill session with the project name. And that kills everything, brings up my old window. And so what I did is I put in my blog article a couple scripts that are extremely useful. PGR, which shows me any processes, which PGR, which runs this command, pgrep, that shows me any processes that weren't actually killed when I killed the Tmux session. What I can do is I then have a script, which pgk, which actually kills the stuff. Boom, now everything is killed, and now I can start all over again. I can type mux, do pause. This starts everything up. Hit control A, D, everything's detached. Then I can hit tmux and attach it. Everything is all started up again.